Hi there, this is Derivative 1 Examples. And the whole purpose of this uh, is just to kind of tie up uh, graphically what was explained in Derivatives 1. And uh, just to start off, uh, one thing to, we need to remember is that the function of a plus h minus the function of a over h. That is our derivative definition. So right now I'm going to draw just an arbitrary curve just so that we can see it. And I'm going to pick our point of interest which will be here, A. And then I'm going to pick uh, four other points. Uh, one here, P1. One here, P2. One here, P3, and one right next to the point P4. Now, first of all, um, I'm going to label exactly where all of these points are. First, I'm going to draw a little extension line right here to here. I'm going to call this H4. Keep extending it right here. I call this one H3. Keep going. Just do the next one as well. What we have here this one's going to be H2 and this one down here will be H1 excuse me while I draw this up for you so as you can see um, H1 is the largest, then it goes H2, H3, and then finally a really small one, H4. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is remember that the concept of derivative is slope. So, as we can see that the slope between P1 and A will be described just by the definition of the derivative, and you could see the slope by this dashed line right here, which I'm going to draw in. Notice how this is not a tangent, which is exactly what we're looking for. Then, as we get to point two, which has a smaller h, we notice that it gets closer to a tangent. Then as we go to three, And then finally, 4, which is the closest, and I'm going to just make this one tiny, 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 tiny little dashes. Now notice that this is the closest. When this one is the closest to ideal. Oops, ideal. And just, this is so you know that this is why they say as the limit goes to, uh, as h goes to zero, because the closer and closer h gets, the closer and closer this, uh, like, secant line becomes the tangent. And that's exactly what the derivative is. It's the instantaneous slope. So it's the slope directly at a.
So, I mean, the, the, that's the only thing you really need to pay attention to is as H goes to zero, you'll notice that the, that the estimate goes to derivative, which is almost like a, a, a redundancy to say so, because that's exactly what we were describing when we said limit of h as h goes to zero, f plus, or f a plus h minus f of a all over h. It's the same concept. So, the biggest thing that we need to remember is that this is at when this h becomes practically zero, it will be right on this point and it will be pretty close to this dotted line. Pretty simple stuff. You can take it to the next tutorial. You shouldn't have any problem. Have a good one.